setting up InfoBlock in 2020 Fusion. By default, Fusion already has an InfoBlock set up with some basic data tags. To create or modify an existing InfoBlock, go to File, Options, InfoBlock. In the InfoBlock Settings section, you can click Add to create a new InfoBlock. Enter a name for the InfoBlock and click OK. In the InfoBlock Font section, you can choose your font type, style and size if required. If you wish to add a logo to your InfoBlock, you can click Add in the Dealer Logo section. Enter a name for your logo and then click on Browse to select your logo image file and click OK. This will now import the logo file. To edit your InfoBlock, select the InfoBlock you wish to edit and then select Customize and click Manage. For this example, I will be editing the landscape setting. This will bring the InfoBlock wizard. Here you can edit the layout and content of the InfoBlock. Please note the information currently displayed in the InfoBlock is being generated from the design I have open. The information won't be populated in the wizard if you do not have a design open. By default, you should have 4 columns which is the maximum number of columns you can have in the info block. If you wish, you can get rid of the column not required by selecting none in the column type. So if you would like to include a logo to your info block, change the column type to branding and click on edit left or edit right depending upon where you would like to position the logo. From the logo type, select the logo you wish to use. This will list the logo files you imported in the previous window. If you wish to add a text with the logo, you can type in the branding text and position them accordingly. Once done, click OK. This will add the logo to the edited column. In the next column, I want few customer details, so I shall edit the column accordingly. First. I ensure that the column type is text. Then I shall increase the total width of the column slightly. The columns are divided into two, left and right. You can set the width of the internal columns as well. On the left side of the column, I want to display client's name. This already has the client's name, so I will leave it as it is. On the right, I want to display client's telephone number, so I click on Edit Write, enter the text, select the data tag for client's telephone number, and then click on Insert Data Tag. This will place the data tag next to the text. Click OK. In the next row of the same column, I will replace the tag for telephone number with and address. So I select the row, click on edit left, enter the text, select the data tag for address line 1 and then click on insert data tag. You can also add additional tags in the same cell text if required. I will enter the data tag for postcode next to address line 1 and then click on insert data tag and then click OK. In the right side of the same row I want to have the client's email address. So I will select the row and click on edit right. If you do not want any text in front of your data tag you can leave them blank. Next I will select the data tag for email address and then click on insert data tag. I want name of the design to be displayed on the third row, so I will leave it as it is. To add more rows, you can click on the plus button and to remove the row, select the row and click on the minus button. This will remove the row that is not required. In the next column, I will add tags with catalog and style information, date and a disclaimer note. In the first row of the third column, 
I want to display the manufacturer's name. This is already set up, so I shall leave it as it is. I will edit the second row to have more style details. So I will select the second row, click on edit left, enter the text, and then select and insert data tag for door choice. Add a separator. Select and insert data tag for door style name. Add a separator in the text again. And then select and insert data tag for finish and primary color. So as I mentioned earlier, you can insert multiple tags in the same text cell. Once done, click OK. In the next row, I will replace the handle data tag with a disclaimer note. So I select the row, click on edit left, type in the disclaimer note in the text and click OK. We don't need to add any data tags for the disclaimer note. On the right side of the same row, I want to show the date. So I will select the row, click on edit right, enter my text and then select and insert the data tag for date. I will also set the justification to right to position the data tag. If you do not wish to show a border below the row, you can uncheck the option. I shall leave it on. Once done, click OK. Next, I will get rid of the extra row by selecting it and then clicking on the minus button. So this is how we add text and data tags in the info block. If you wish to change the font style of the column, click on font style under the column detail. If you wish to change the font style of a single row, select the row, click on edit and then font style to change for the selected row. Once you have made the required customization, click OK. Back to the info block settings, you can set default info blocks based on different views. If you do not wish any defaults, you can leave them as none. Also another thing to note, if you can't see your info block in the print preview, make sure you have selected the correct info block by going to view, options, info block. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.